Ain't this what they been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh. I used to break the times like this, the rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that. Do you have it in you? Do you have it in you? We're in a fight right now. and CEO of Implants for All Institute, as well as Plain Dental Partners. So thank you for the invitation today. I'm excited to share it with you. I just finished completing my fellowship and mastership from the American Academy of Implant Prosthodontics. We just did a sinus of course. I'm certified in IV sedation, conscious sedation in Florida, full arches and dental implants. So the reason I came up with this model was because I realized that most pro programs that you go to, you go there, you do a dental implant, you have a rep that comes in, talks about bone, talks about the kit, you get all hyped up, and then you go back into private practice and you, you, you really are hyped up, but God forbid one mistake happens, you lose all motivation. So what's different with this approach is that not only are we gonna be, it's not a cookie cutter approach, we're gonna be hands on with you, training you for a period of 12 to 14 months for the tier two program. During that process, are you not only you're going to have me as a mentor, as well as two other professors that I have here in Florida, Dr. Gavia, Dr. Gonzalez, and actually Dr. Sofa as well. And then we have a training facility out of Costa Rica where you'll be working with Dr. Carr, Carr, which he's a certified oral maxillofacial surgeon, and his group of professors over there in Costa Rica. So the purpose of learning, laughing, and feeling less alone is to figure out things you didn't know before you got here. So the Implants for All team, also not just sponsors, are going to share what they do to help you dentist better, to help you feel more confident, to help you transform people's lives. I want to share 25 years in dentistry. I've gotten zero thanks for a class two composite. Not one time <laughs> has someone said, thanks for all this hard work. Sometimes they say, look at all the stuff we put out for you, Millie. You should thank us. But what is a class two? BK, it's just this, Doop, we're done, Doop, we're done, right? But implant dentistry, transforming people's smiles, you do get a lot of thank you. But the person that I want to introduce is somebody that's done over 30,000 implants, over 1,700 full arch cases, and currently owns nine different offices. We're in the process of getting our 11th, uh, 10th and 11th coming up this next year. So I'm gonna let him kind of talk and give you guys kind of a, uh, a breakdown of our program, but I want you guys also, for those of you guys are students, to ask questions, you know, ask the hard questions. He is somebody that, you know, does coach and mentor different people and has been through those types of trainings and he loves to actually help you guys actually grow. We took this trip from Florida. We're down here, it's a little bit cold. Anything below 70 is cold, IJS, just saying. So Lindsay asked me if we're wearing a jacket. I said, absolutely. <laughs> got two of them over there. <laughs> but without further ado, Dr. Alex Plants. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you to Dr. Goodman and the amazing Dental Nachos team for sponsoring this event and inviting us and giving us this totally amazing hospitality. How many of you guys do dental implants? Classy. Drop your hands if you guys do full arches. Okay, so we have Dr. Patel. I've heard so many great things about you, by the way. Great. Yes. What's your name? Very nice to meet you. So you guys don't do any full arches, correct? You do? Okay, so you just started doing them? 
Awesome, awesome. So basically the reason I came up with this idea was because I realized that all of us have gone to do some CE credits. Um, you go do a training, you finish the training, you go back to your private practice and then you're like, where do I start now? How do I start implementing this into my general practice or my specialty practice? Especially for us, our GP doctors. Because once you start doing dental implants and full arches, you're not just a GP dentist, you're a super generalist. That's what Dr. Terman from Columbia University, may he rest in peace, he actually passed away. He was my director there in my residency. He always said, we are super generalists. When you're just not doing crowns, you're just not doing fillings. Once you start doing dental implants, restoring dental implants, and you start doing full arches, you become a super generalist and you're actually in another echelon of being, you know, a provider in your field. So you guys should be very proud for those accom accomplishments in my personal opinion. So I created this manual and, and you guys take it home and you read it. It took me over seven years of not only implant training, but also leadership training, personal development, going to see guys like Ed Milet, Tony Robbins. One of the biggest key factors to do is if you're gonna be a dentist that's gonna excel in this field, you gotta have your mindset completely intact. You guys are just gonna graduate. Let me tell you, it's not gonna be pretty, all right? You guys have to be completely focused in what you're gonna do. And if you get ahead, like I did, and a lot of these doctors that I had the opportunity to speak tonight, you're gonna excel by tenfold by being this. And you guys taking the time and actually coming here to be a part of this event, that just shows me the type of commitment that you guys have. So you should applaud yourself for that. A lot of doctors don't care, they don't show up, they graduate, they're like, where do I go now? So you're already ahead of the game by just being here tonight. So when I created the Implants for All Institute, I realized that where are you gonna, how are you gonna implement implants into your practice what system are you going to use how are you going to what labs are you going to use how are you going to market it because you know how to do the dental implant already but how are you actually going to market those patients to come into your practice who's going to manage those leads that are going to be coming in do you work with any dashboard doc do you guys work with any dashboards for marketing so how do you guys get the leads coming to your practice you guys do ppc and then they just show up okay mailers okay so when you work when like what we do is we have a dashboard so a patient goes in they do a survey right and then that survey goes into a dashboard which is kind of like a medium to cold call and then somebody of your team needs to immediately call that patient within two hours so what i realized is that i was investing all this money in marketing and then people were not calling the patients so you had all these leads just sitting there and you're like okay we have 200 leads just sitting in the portal. I'm doing fillings, I'm doing implants in the back, I'm taking teeth out, I'm here breaking breaking my balls in the back, I'm sorry for the French, but I'm here breaking my back and then all of a sudden no one is calling, Debbie and Sally are not calling those leads. So then I realized that we couldn't give any more tasks to the front, we had to figure out somebody that had some partial sales experience to actually do these outbound calls.